good old Heathrow Airport. I used to find myself there all the time. Thanks to the pandemic, I've only been through once in the past 16 months. Not that I love London Heathrow exactly. There are so many better airports to transit through in Europe. And yet it has something special. Maybe it's the range of aircraft you see there, or the incredible list of destinations on the departures board. Until recently, it was also one of the best places to catch a 747 flight. British Airways had dozens of the plane, and you could find it on a number of transatlantic runs. Some complained about the old seats on board, but especially if you could get a seat on the upper deck, I thought it was one of the best ways to cross an ocean. In fact, the first BA-747 I ever flew was a 747-100 from JFK to Heathrow back in the 90s. I had a number of flights on the 200s as well, shuttling between Boston and London later that decade, and I can remember flying the 400s back when they were relatively new as well. Although a gradual 747 retirement was already underway at BA before COVID, the pandemic cut the queen of the skies down decisively. Now it's a museum piece. So I thought, why not dust off this footage from 2019 on what was to be my last BA 747 flight and bask in some 747 nostalgia? Nothing quite like the sound these Rolls-Royce engines make on takeoff. The 64K, a rear-facing seat tucked away at the back of the upper deck, was fantastic. Almost completely private, with a great view of the wing. I couldn't ask for more. Strange to think that this was not even two years ago. And now, like most things pre-pandemic, it feels like a different lifetime. I'll leave you to soak in some of the sights and sounds of a British Airways 747 flight.
On this trip, I actually managed one more 747 flight with a different airline. Stay tuned for that one coming up next. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. For Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.